And as we said right now, no homes or communities are in the danger zone, but a facility you see right there, right near Mount Aloha, used to train NASA scientists in a remote area among the closest to Martian terrain we have here on Earth is potentially in Pele's path, and that has scientists on edge. It's an out of this world view. 8,000 feet high up on the slopes of Mauna Loa is the high seas space simulation where crews get to work with NASA and explore terrain similar to Mars or the moon, all while cut off from the rest of the world. And they like to keep it that way, but even they can't escape Madame Pele. There's nothing really to do except uh, uh, watch and hope. Um, we weren't even able to get in and, and get any equipment or anything out. Luckily, there's no mission going on right now, so no one was in any danger, but models for the lava flow show the habitat smack dab in the middle of two vents. Chopper video taken today shows the habitat with lava looming in the background. If the flow from vent four picks up, then it will probably surround the habitat, hopefully not run over it. Investigator Kim Binstead from UH says some fresh volcanic rock will make their next mission even more exciting, assuming home base is still standing. The area where the HAB is is similar to the surface of a young Mars and the, the lava tubes, for example, we expect to see lava tubes uh, on Mars and on the moon for that matter. So, so no, uh, a near miss would actually be a positive. But as she waits and worries, like a true scientist, she'll be taking it all in, no matter what happens next. Nothing like a volcano going off. It's just, it's awe-inspiring.